I want the Chiang Mai region. Where's that? So they just want this. Basically, so we'll try to split that with them. Split the rest of Siam. Look at our budget. Yeah, most of our people are doing pretty well. Um, let's see how many people are moving up into the upper class. Yeah, we've got a lot of class movement, I think. Hmm. So they're actually winning. But yeah, my bad. I feel feel bad I didn't join in that war. But we are ready on the front here to join if we need to. Actually, we're building another factory here. We'll expand the profitable factories if they need it. Which right now only seems like this one. So, no new stuff there. And should I build forts here? It's kind of tough because we have such a big front. Well, this is... We have the money for it. line of forts. Why not? I mean, it's definitely going to be good. Oh, alright, we've got another big conflict. Prussian liberation of Alsace-Lorraine. So, this I do plan to help out in. See here, it's basically Prussia with... Wow! Look at that! Look at that amount of military strength. 467, that is the highest I have ever seen. Against 188, I mean, normally that would be really high, but... Who is... Why is it so high? Like, I'm not even... Well, I guess just some of the... German states are powerful. But... Oh, I think it is overestimating it. Because they're definitely not that strong. But I mean, Prussia is. Prussia has 51 and 18. France has a lot more than that. But they're fighting Spain also. So let's just see. Who, yeah, Hamburg wants access. I will give them that for sure. And you know what? Let's join the war. But of course, I'm most in danger down here. Let's just go ahead and move in. Get the coast while I can. So yeah, we are at war with the Ottoman Empire, Switzerland, two Sicilies, Papal States, and France, most importantly. I'm actually the most powerful country in this. Huh. So why don't we go ahead and try to invade?
uh, Chile against Bolivia here. So the war is just, I mean, the world is just going in, into chaos. Um, let's see, they want this region. So yeah, they're basically just trying to make Bolivia nothing. Bolivia actually has an island region here, not bordering the rest of its country. But yeah, Bolivia is going to shrink here. And we see here, oh, awesome. No other French forces here. Once I take this region, I'll leave my army here, or here, and I will just send out smaller unit groups to the rest of this. Awesome. Germans are going to take care of these guys for me. Thank you. My allies. So I don't even have to worry about these nationalist rebels here. Ooh, big battle. Should I risk the navy or not? We're not going to risk the transports because they aren't really of any use in fighting. Not, not worth it. But we are going to help out here. Actually, no. We're going to prevent. We're going to prevent Germany from being invaded, and hopefully sink their men also. Say so we greatly outnumber them. Huge war, though. Yeah, they are getting... They're going to sink. Send their men to the bottom of the ocean. And if we look here, the occupation of France is going well, even though... The occupation of Spain is also probably going pretty well, and of Spanish North Africa here. Um, no Frenchies over here. They do have a big navy. Pretty big navy. Just Brussels is safe from the rebels. Wow. What the... That must be some sort of glitch. United States of Central America, a great power. Yeah, it's the industrial power glitch. Um, so yeah, they're not actually that good to be the eighth most powerful country in the world. Just a little accident on the game's part. That might fix itself soon. I don't know. So, cool. Uh, we sunk three of the ships out here. And now we can go help out the, uh, the Prussians. So yeah, once again, we're, we're going to win easily there. Oh, damn it, I went bankrupt again. Forgot to fix up my taxes before the war. But yeah, this war is not for ourselves. This war is to both weaken France and to... Um, to... hold on. To weaken France and get towards German unification where I hope Prussia will move on to become to stay my ally. Oh. Wow. For some reason I completely misread the map earlier and thought there was only one coast region or something. I don't know. Just one of my stupid moments. Sunk two of them. Let's go back to Amsterdam for now.
Why did we gain that? Humiliate Casas Belly. I don't border them though, that's annoying. Let's Whatever. I can't declare war on them. Well I can, but I don't want to. So yeah, this is going well. I wonder what actually happens if I demand a region from France. Like, which one would be a good one? Like, what if I take this region? Picardy. Oh, I can't add... The war's not going well enough. I just have to win some more stuff, and then I'll be able to <laughs> demand a region. Actually, let me look at what the infamy for demanding a region is. Ten. I don't know if it's worth it. It would be really funny. But the thing is, if I have French core territories, they will be wanting it back forever. First army is doing well here, I guess. The annoying thing is it has a... I don't know. Can't demand... It. There should be a lesser... Like, I don't know, some sort of... Uh, difference between, like, core states and non-core states. So even though both... France's South American possessions and France itself are states in the French Empire. They should be treated differently, so I can demand the kind of colonial states for less than... Oh, this needs to get back. Oh, damn it. French people in the way. We'll go here for now. This might be a glitch or something, because there are no ships here. Well, actually, there are now. There too. Tuscany declared war on the Papal States. So what, what is this? Oh, so Tuscany's trying to conquer a region here. I see here's Tuscany. They're trying to conquer this region. We look here, Papal States are against a lot of stuff. Um, this war there against uh, Luca, Tuscany, and Austria. And then also in the north, they're fighting us.